Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 2 non conventional energy sources dealing with solar energy. So, hope you know about what is solar energy. We will be seeing in detail about it. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Solar energy. Generally, the name solar, we hear, we tell that the energy is absorbed or radiated from the sun. So, from sun, how the solar energy is being generated? So, obviously, nowadays we use PV cells or solar panels where the sun is radiated across the panels and the sun radiation is absorbed by the panels and then it is converted in the form of electricity and there is a small battery storage system which can store this generated electricity across the battery system and then convert it into AC. So, whatever you are getting from the solar panel will be a DC power which in turn using inverter you are converting the DC to the AC power. So, this is how from the sun you are getting the solar energy. So, generally like solar energy is one of the most abundant of all the energy resources. So, when you have cloudy weather, obviously there is a small amount of sun that is falling on the earth surface, right? So, we should know the rate at which the solar energy is intercepted by the earth. Like you can tell that it is around 10,000 times greater than that of the how the how humankind consume the energy. So that uh, that is the rate how the solar energy is is intercepted by the earth. So there are many solar technologies that can deliver heat, deliver lightning, electricity, fuels for any number of application. So, here there are some solar technologies which is converting this sunlight into electrical energy. Either using this PV voltaic cell that is photovoltaic panels, solar panels, any kind of interfaces that is connected where the sun's radiation is completely absorbed by that particular devices. So, here we tell that the energy that is radiated from the sun is nothing but the electromagnetic waves. So, the waves, the, uh, the wavelengths of that range is being absorbed by a particular devices. So, this solar energy that is obtained from the sun will be reaching the top of the earth's atmosphere. So, you will be knowing why we are telling it as top, top of the earth atmosphere why it is not directly intercepted to the earth all those you will be seeing in the next uh, lecture series for now the solar energy is falling on the upper surface of the earth where it has 8 percent of uv radiation 46 of visible light and 46 percentage of infrared radiation now seeing about the solar energy utilization it is divided as direct and indirect conversion so from solar energy you can convert into different kind of energies which is a direct and indirect process so indirect process is dealing with water wind ocean and biomass energy wherein direct conversion is nothing but thermal energy and photovoltaic from where the photo from photovoltaic you have power generation Obviously, from thermal energy, you have the process of heating the application. How heat is produced from particular devices. How can it be observed? How can it be used for different application? So, here in thermal energy, the process heat application where the temperature is less than 200 degrees Celsius, which is used for drying of food, cooking, cooling or AC cooling, water heating, for all those this is used so if you want to generate power through this thermal energy then the temperature must be greater than 60 degrees celsius so you will be classifying the temperature according to low medium and high so based on that the power is being generated by the thermal energy so this is how it works now before seeing the demerits and merits of solar energy we will be thinking how the solar energy is generated. Everybody tells the energy comes from sun. How? 
so the solar energy is actually created by nuclear fusion that is taking place in the sun so this fusion occurs when there is obviously you know how what is nuclear fusion fission reaction so fusion is nothing but when the protons of hydrogen atoms collide collide in the core sun's core and it fuses with helium atom so there creates a nuclear fission reaction and that because of that reaction enormous amount of energy is released to the earth so be clear how solar energy is generated is nuclear fusion reaction that is taking place in the sun that is the protons of the hydrogen atoms will collide with collide with the helium atoms that is collide across the sun's core and it will fuse with the helium atom providing pro providing enormous amount of energy uh, emission from the sun which is stored across the different panels or devices so seeing solar energy you have some merits like uh, because of using solar energy no pollution is going to happen across the atmosphere so it is environmental clean source and it is available free you are not going to pay anything to get radiation from sun it is naturally oriented so it is free and it is almost available in adequate manner across the world wherever sunlight is on the higher side there the production of solar energy is on the higher side see every system when you are going to design obviously there is demerits of solar energy so what is the demerits of solar energy is nothing but it is a, a source of energy uh, where it becomes diluted when there is a very less radiation flux that is when, even when there is a hottest uh, uh, radiation the flux that is available if it is less then it it is obviously a dilute source of energy and this solar energy it is requiring more area to collect the energy and to use it for different application so for that cost also increases the area that you require to do all these also increases so uh, mean like solar energy is not constantly uh, uh, getting the higher uh, higher efficiency every time like it varies depending upon the time when it is sun uh, sunlight day or it is a sunny day hottest day you are going to get high energy from the solar uh, sun if it is a rainy or cloudy day obviously it is on the lower side so based on that the uh, uh, the availability is not always the same it varies so these are some small small demerits that you can come across the solar energy so if you have understood about the solar energy stay tuned for more information next series will be based on thermal energy thank you